I'm going to show you three ways you can export a GIF from After Effects. I'm Ryan, and this is Motion Methods. Okay, so method number one is using GIF Gun. It's the script that you can get at aescripts.com. It costs $30, but you can also give it a try. In my opinion, it's the quickest and easiest way to do this, um, and it also has, I find, it has the um, highest quality results. I'm not getting paid to say that, I'm just a happy customer. Okay, so to, to export it, you just need your composition to be open, and go over to the settings option in GIF Gun, and you can adjust these. You can adjust the size, the um, the frame rate. If you leave it as comp, it'll. I've got mine set to 60 frames per second, so it'll be 60 frames per second. Um, or you have these other presets to choose from. You can leave all these things the same. You can adjust the compression. Um, anyway, so once you're done with that, hit done, and then just hit make GIF, and what it will do will render the video out first as a video format, and then it will convert that into a GIF. So I'm just going to speed up so you don't have to wait here and watch this render. Okay, so now it's done rendering the video. It will now convert it over here to a GIF. So you'll see the status update. And here we go. So it's done rendering, and here's my GIF. Cool. So it's as easy as that. That's method number one. Method number two, go back to your composition, make sure it's in focus, and go to composition and add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. So this just uses the Adobe Media Encoder and you just wanna make sure that the format is set to animated GIF. So you just click this drop down. You're probably already set to a video format, so just choose animated GIF and then select this so you can edit the options. Leave it at 100% quality. Um, I want to resize this to 400 like the other GIF. So I'll do that. Um, the, the weird thing with Adobe Media Encoder is that it doesn't seem to recognize my frame rate. So I've got it set to 60 frames per second in the composition. Here it's showing up as one. So I'm going to uncheck this. But the other thing is that it doesn't let me choose 60. The highest I can go is 50. So I'll choose that. Um, and then I'm going to check off this render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality. I think that's all you need to do here. Um, hit OK. And now I'm going to render this out. Hit play to render it. OK, so here we go. Um, this one over here on the left is the GIF through that was rendered through Adobe Media Encoder, and you can tell like, there's some there's some definite like aliasing going on, and there's some strange like noise artifacts here. The quality is definitely not as good as even the compressed version of this one on the right, which is playing now um, from GIF Gun. This one has clearly some noise problems, but it still looks a lot smoother with the compression than the um, the one from the media encoder and if I compare them they're about the same size this one's 4.1 megabytes and the media encoder one's 4.2 okay method number three uh, is actually kind of a hack so go over go to giphy.com and download giphy capture and this is just a screen capturing tool that will let you capture your screen so I've got it installed here and you can adjust this, you can move the window around, just what you want to actually capture. Um, so let's say it's this, and I'm going to play the video in RAM preview underneath. Once you're doing that, just hit record, click the red circle, it'll start recording, and then you click again to stop recording, and then it produces this output, click on that, and you can edit it here. So you can you can trim it down. There's some other options here. You can change the loop, whether it just loops normally like the other ones, or you can have it go backwards. I mean, you can easily do this with timing mapping in After Effects. 
Um, or you can do this ping pong effect, which is kind of neat. So you can trim it down and have this perfect back and forth loop. The pixel size is just the how large the output is. You can have the original size or um, these other three options. And then frame rate, similarly, low is 10 frames per second, high is 23, HD is 60, and standard is 15. I find that's kind of strange that they put that as 15, but anyway. Cool thing here is you can save it locally like the other ones, or you can upload it directly to Giphy, um, which if you want to share it in another means, that might be useful to you. Uh, and another benefit of this is that like it's not specifically for After Effects, so you know you can have some sort of other export or whatever. You can use this as a screen capture tool specifically for GIFs. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. And let me know in the comments what your preferred method is, um, or if you have a better one that I haven't talked about, I'd love to know. And thanks for watching.